Alright guys welcome back with me with another YouTube video. Okay, so today all talking about Fukurokuju in One Piece Chapter 990. So, make sure to stay tuned for that. If you do enjoy seeing this anime reviews and want to keep them coming the best thing, you can do is smash that like button and if you haven't be sure to subscribe and this is crucial hit that notification bell or you will miss future anime videos. Fukurokuju is the leader of the Oniwabanshu Orochi group. After Kaido's coup against Orochi, Fukurokuju turned to support the Yonko group. But between the riots in Chapter 990, Fukurokuju did something strange. In One Piece 990, we saw the samurai Orochi and Oniwabanshu fight the alliance of Kazuki's support group. Well, we saw Fukurokuju briefly observe the fight and then he left. This action is mysterious. Even Hote, the leader of the Miwaragumi samurai, seems surprised by Fukurokuju's actions. What exactly is this ninja trying to do? Does he secretly want to fight Kaido's group? If when asked by Kaido the Fukurokuju he said he didn't want to join, he and Oniwabanshu might be beaten up and slaughtered. But now the situation is chaotic. Especially since Kazuki's samurai had already decided to fight. If Fukurokuju felt like he was not going to win, now he actually has a chance. Kaido has already killed Orochi, the boss of Fukurokuju. Does this ninja still have a speck of honor, and will he attack unexpectedly like a ninja should? Will he hunt Momonosuke? However, Fukurokuju's actions so far show that he doesn't seem to have a good side. Well, we know from Chapter 990 that Toby Ropo was asked by King to stop the enemies from climbing onto the roof. In addition, Toby Ropo will not be given the opportunity to challenge the All-Star again even if they catch Yamato. If this means Ulti and Page 1 are no longer chasing Yamato, and they are no longer chasing after Momo and Shinobu because the two don't seem to have any intention of climbing to the roof, that means someone else will be hunting for the two. Maybe Fukurokuju took the initiative to hunt down and finish off the Kazuki clan officials, after he saw Momo run away. Shinobu and Fukurokuju were both ninja themselves. They also have past problems. So this is indeed a suitable fight. Does Fukurokuju want to secure Orochi's corpse? Until now, I'm still not sure that Orochi is dead. Besides that death is too fast for this cruel person, Orochi has the Yamada no Orochi ability. In the original legend, Yamada no Orochi died only after Suzano cut off eight of his head. Fukurokuju may really be loyal to Orochi, and he intends to secure Orochi so that Orochi can rise again with the rest of his head. In Japan, Fukurokuju is one of the seven lucky gods in Japanese mythology. It has been theorized that he is a Japanese assimilation of the Chinese three star gods embodied in one deity. Most related in appearance to the Chinese star god Sho, he is the god of wisdom and longevity. Fukurokuju is one of the members of the seven lucky gods who has the ability to revive the dead. If this is true, what will Orochi do? The possibility that he would order his samurai to fight Kaido and the samurai Kazuki at once, made the war even more chaotic. So, that's my theory about Fukurokuju's mysterious actions in One Piece 990.